Kate had years to adjust to royal life but Meghan couldn't get it straight in her mind. The Duchess of Sussex married into the royal family seven years after the Princess of Wales. Kate, Princess of Wales, had years to adjust to the attention that comes with becoming a senior working royal, whereas Meghan's experience was far different, a royal expert has claimed. The Duchess of Sussex, 41, became a working royal following her wedding to Prince Harry in 2018, whereas Kate married Prince William back in 2011. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex tied a knot at Windsor on May 19. Royal expert Duncan Larkham said that he felt desperately sorry for Meghan in the initial period of adjusting to royal family life. Mr Larkham told Fox News Digital, Harry clearly never really wanted to admit to her what was actually going to be involved with the royal family. He claimed that in the first seven years of the Prince and Princess of Wales relationship, Buckingham Palace would not talk about, Kate, when she's a private individual. With this procedure, the Princess of Wales had years to adjust to the attention, which was a process that did not play out in the same way for the Duchess of Sussex. He likened the Duchess' experience to that of Harry's mother, the late Princess Diana. He commented that struggling to adjust to media scrutiny was a trend stretching back generations for those who married into the firm. He added, I've seen it, and we saw it all the way back from Diana. Mr. Larkham then claimed the Duchess didn't ever get it straight in her mind that there was a difference between being in the public eye as a celebrity, versus gaining attention for being royalty. The Duchess told U.S. chat show host Oprah Winfrey that she suffered from suicidal thoughts during her time as a working royal, under the intense spotlight of the media. She recounted how she just didn't see a solution, claiming she turned to those within the firm for help. She said, I would sit up at night. And I was just like I don't understand how all of this is being churned out and again I wasn't seeing it. But it's almost worse when you feel it through the expression of my mom or my friends or them calling me crying just like Meg, they're not protecting you. Meghan described feeling really ashamed to say it at the time, particularly to her new husband. She continued, but I knew that if I didn't say it that I would do it. And I just did an apostrophe T. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. She then claimed she went to the institution looking for help, adding that I've never felt this way before and I need to go somewhere. She then told Oprah, and I was told that I couldn't, that it wouldn't be good for the institution. In the wake of the interview, Buckingham Palace said the couple, along with their son Archie, would always be much loved family members. In a statement, the palace added, the whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan.
but I knew that if I didn't say it that I would do it, and I just did an apostrophe t dot I just didn't want to be alive anymore. She then claimed she went to the institution looking for help, adding that I've never felt this way before and I need to go somewhere. She then told Oprah, and I was told that I couldn't, that it wouldn't be good for the institution. In the wake of the interview, Buckingham Palace said the couple, along with their son Archie, would always be much loved family members. In a statement, the palace added, the whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan.